Hi everyone, Jeff Nimoy back with another boring, thrilling story. The year was 1988, and Jeff Nimoy, a very young Jeff Nimoy, 22 years old, graduated NYU in June of 1988, packed up his Chevy Chevette, packed it up with all of his Brooklyn belongings, and drove out to Los Angeles, California in three days flat, because LA was desperate for me. They needed me. I had to get out here fast. My grandmother, who I lived with, gave me $500 cash, and I also had a jar of loose change that I had collected over the years, and that was it, money-wise. So I came out to California. I started looking for an apartment, and I found one, a one-bedroom apartment in Koreatown that I had to share with three other guys. $250 250 a month, and he wanted first and last, and that was my $500 right there. So I gave that to him, and then I was like, I have to find next month's rent. So I went looking for a bartending job. I had a little experience from New York. So there was a club called the Red Onion. There were a lot of these clubs around Los Angeles at the time, and this one was in Mid Wilshire, a predominantly black neighborhood back then. And I asked, but they had no bartending jobs for me. But it was during happy hour when I went, and you got two-for-one drinks, and then they put out a buffet. And it was all you can eat, and I just got like a soda, and they gave me two sodas for a buck. I just got like a dollar from the jar of change, and that was my one meal every day until I could find a way to pay the rent. And the Red Onion was a Mexican restaurant during the day, and at night it became a nightclub, and they had different events. They had ladies night and there was a lot of dancing and they had comedians and they had a rap contest on thursday nights one hundred dollars first place let's flash back to nyu the previous halloween when a buddy of mine was an intern at a prop house in manhattan and for halloween they lent him these gigantic bunny feet and because they were so large he was walking in them like a a rapper on stage, these very sort of extreme strides and his arms had to move a certain way, but he looked like he was rapping. And as we were walking through the streets of Greenwich Village on Halloween night, I just started rapping, making it up as I went along saying, Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny, you know my name is Bugs and I'm here to say I'm the biggest bunny rabbit there is today. And we all started laughing and <laughs> we started, I started doing more lyrics, you know, I got a little fuzzy tail and a big old feet. And we were just having a, a, a lot of fun that night. So now flash forward to rap night at the Red Onion all these months later. And I thought, hey, I have a rap song. and I watched one just to see what it was like, and these guys were like legit wannabe rappers. Like, they were looking for record deals, these guys. So I thought, there's no way I can compete with those guys on their level. So I have to go comedy, and I did the Bugs Bunny rap. I asked the DJ to give me some sort of generic beat and i i improvised with the beat and lo and behold i won 100 dollars first place and let me tell you something the audience was so into me the other rappers really hated me and they hated me even more the next week when i won again with the same exact song and if you think they hated me then i can't imagine how much they hated me when i won five straight weeks in a row And that's how I paid my rent. And finally, the other rappers were complaining so much to management that management told me I can't enter the contest anymore. So I said, well, I'll stop entering if you give me a bartending job. And they did. And that's how I started paying my rent in Los Angeles. And it just so happens that some of that very first appearance at the Red Onion in Mid-Wilshire, Los Angeles, on Wilshire Boulevard, just off of Normandy, sometime in August of 1988. Enjoy a 22-year-old Jeff Nimoy, complete with his Brooklyn accent and doing the Bugs Bunny rap. Dance together and welcome Jeff to the dance floor. Come on, everybody. How's it going, everybody? Are there any cartoon fans out there? Anybody watch cartoons out there? What's your favorite cartoon? Bugs Bunny. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, I love Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny is my favorite cartoon character. And I wrote a song to worship Bugs Bunny. I'd like to share it with you all now. Okay, picture yourself at the beginning of a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Bugs Bunny! Bugs Bunny! I say my name is Bugs and I'm here to say I'm the biggest bunny rabbit there is today. Elmer, Daffy, Yosemite Sam Can't keep up with the Bugs Bunny Jam Bugs Bunny Bugs Bunny You know Bugs is the one, can't be beat He's got a little fuzzy tail and a big old feet He's king of them all, that ain't no lie Over Porky Roadrunner and a Tweety Pie A Bugs Bunny, oh, I thought I saw a bunny Bugs Bunny, oh, I thought I saw a bunny Bunny, bunny, bunny Ooh, I hate that Rabbit Bugs Bunny Bugs Bunny Rabbit season, duck season, rabbit season, duck season, rabbit, rabbit Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit season Bunny, bunny, bunny Ooh, I hate that rabbit Bugs Bunny Bugs Bunny I'm an Oscar winner, an original sinner I'm a carrot juice drinker and ain't I a stinker Bugs Bunny Bugs Bunny I say my name is Bugs Bunny and I'm ready to rock As soon as I say, and what's up, John?